Hi, I'm Olha, and in this Stun Studio tutorial, we're going to cover how to use the Object Detection Template. The Object Detection Template allows you to instantiate and place UI elements on the screen. Based on the bounding boxes of the object of a certain class, detected by a machine learning model through the ML component. The ML component allows you to extend Lens Studio beyond what it comes with. Like other templates using the ML component, to fully customize this lens you can bring your own model. To help you get started, this template comes with an example model. Take a look at the Lens Studio website where we provide example code and a walkthrough on how you can make your own model. To get started, first open Lens Studio 3.0 and select the Object Detection template. This template comes with a car detection and food detection model examples. By default, it is set to use a car detection model. To bring in your own model, drag and drop the model from your computer file system to the resources panel. Next, we'll tell the template to use this model. In the objects panel, select a mal component. Then, in the inspector panel, click on the field next to model, and then, in the pop-up window, choose your newly imported model. Now, we'll set up our ML controller script to match our new model. This script processes the ML component output to be used by object detection controller script. Set the output names to match your model output names that return scores and locations respectively. Take a look at the template guide to learn more about each property on this script. With our object detection setup, let's customize our lens. This template comes with several options to customize to match your model. The hint system, the object detection counter, and the detection box. Each of these uses a standard screen transform to set its position and size on the screen. To customize the hint, shown when there are no objects detected, select Hint object in the Objects panel. Edit Big Hint object to set the image shown. To bring your own texture, like before, drag the file from your computer file system to the Resources panel. Then, select the Big Hint object and modify its texture field in the Inspector panel by clicking on it. Then, in the pop-up window, use your new textures. Next, select the Hint text and edit the text to correspond to the object you are looking for. Great! Now our hint works properly. Now, let's modify the object detection counter. Like before, Expand the Object Counter object in the Objects panel. Then modify the texture in the small hint object like we did before. You can also drag the texture from the Resources panel to the Texture field to connect your texture. You can also modify the location of this display by moving it in the Scene panel. Finally, let's modify our detection box. The Object Detection Controller will duplicate the Detection Box object and resize it to match the detection boxes obtained from the ML Controller script. All we have to do is to modify its children to fit our needs. No pun intended. Modify its children based on its relation to the parent Detection Box object. For example, select the small hint object and modify its texture and screen transform as we did before. Then, let's modify our frame. The frame represents the visual surrounding of the detection boxes. It is built from 8 parts, one for each edge and one for each corner, allowing it to expand with the detection box. Again, you can modify its texture and screen transform in the inspector and scene panel. Take a look at the screen transform guide in the Lens Studio page to learn more about how you can make your own layout. Select Object Detection Controller to set how smoothly displayed UI elements will follow object detection boxes. Amazing! Now that we have our own object detection visualization, we are ready to preview and submit our lens. To preview the lens in Snapchat, click Preview on Snapchat in the top right corner of Lens Studio. 
Then open Snapchat and scan the provided snap code. Once Snapchat and Lens Studio are connected, press the Send to Device button. You can now preview your lens in Snapchat. This lens is now ready for submission. For more information on submitting your lens, follow the submission guide in the Lens Studio documentation. Thanks for watching and have fun creating your own lenses using the object detection template.